but in, in terms of that, uh, and maybe you and Dr. Shetty both could contribute to this, uh, do we have enough support from the government in kind of supporting this, this whole, I, I mean, I know we're big on it, the India AI mission is also an example, yes. but when it comes to the skilling part of it, because that requires mega investment in terms of infrastructure. Oh, I'm, I'm personally a big fan of that uh, entire India AI mission, and I see it like we work with the ministries, all ministries, and they are so supportive, bullish, both in terms of resources. Obviously, looking at, at the big tech companies and even the startups to bring in the skilling at scale. We recently did a large scale program for the government employees, starting from the AI fundamentals. And the second thing is just train the team. Take up like thousands of teachers that are there, skill them in AI, and then they will further skill. So I see almost every department, every ministry, beyond Métis and the usual ones, uh, actually propelling us, inviting us for the AI skilling that we have not uh, seen at any level before. So, but yeah. I would say that um, uh, when it comes to the kind of government resources, I think um, the uh, rural public is still not impacted in a big way. But with the urban private, um, you know, students today, specifically the private universities like us, um, the exposure to this kind of toys and tech is far more than, you know, uh, when it comes to the uh, rural setup. Um, having said that, um, I think it is the um, um, urban students who get a lot more awareness to it because of uh, the kind of location advantage that they get, you know, the geographical advantage that they get and the companies that come forward, you know, to work on it. But it is high time that the government actually invested in um, um, the rural, you know, uh, right from K-12 to the higher education part of it, because what we notice, you know, as a university, because we work with both the government meritorious students as well as the ones who come in from the private, um, you know, set up from affluent schools and institutions. Um, you notice that um, uh, there is that kind of an effort, that additional effort that a rural student puts in, that kind of consistency, that kind of, you know, um, uh, very, very committed and um, uh, the kind of effort that they put into it that it is taken to their skin, right? While the urban students may be uh, a lot more smarter when it comes to their work, these are the ones who are the hardworking ones, you know, the hare and the rabbit kind of a thing. Uh, but yes, there needs to be a lot more investment that comes in and from companies like all of you, you know. Um, if you look at um, uh, Stanford or a UCB for that matter, you have clusters of these companies who work with them. You know, um, one of the speakers spoke about Sam Altman. He comes from a history of the Y Combinator. So um, the youth actually are working in these campuses and it's time that, you know, companies partnered with them to ensure that they work with these students, bring out their talent, and whether it's a government or, a, you know, um, semi-government or a private part of it, uh, allow this um, a kind of exposure to all the students, irrespective of where they come from.